Hey, yo, we are back. I hope I'm uh, got these new controls right. I think I got them. I think everybody can hear me. I think I hit the right button. That thing is still confusing. Hey, listen, let's get this thing started. My first guest, Mr. Joe Womack III, is a proud graduate from FAMU in the house. Yeah, I know. We got a lot of rattlers that come through the show, but that's, that's just how it is. Hey, while in college, he birthed his company, Digital Guest List. It's very progressive and innovative web-based marketing and social media strategy company. Man, say that three times. Now he's about to change the industry yet again. Please welcome to our show from the Joe Digital in the house. What's up, sir? What's going on, man? How you doing? <laughs> man, you know you got it, brother. Rattlers run things. You know it. You know it. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, I love to hear when a young man discovers his passion while in college, man. I wish I could have been one of those people, but I was just having fun, I guess. Hey, I really believe that, you know, college is meant for, you know, a vessel to open your mind to all possibilities. What clicked in you that you saw the need for a digital guest list to be born? You know, it was it was interesting. I mean, I, I got to be honest. Uh, my whole process of finding my passion was was uh, was interesting. It wasn't anything I was looking for. It was, I think, honestly, God that spoke to me. Uh, and and for me, um, kind of looking back on it, I can see how everything lined up, how the pieces came together. But uh, it started when I was uh, when I was on my second internship. Excuse me. Um, I'm sorry, my third. <laughs> That's my third internship uh, in Detroit, and um, I saw basically this uh, this Yahoo group that was used to advertise events up there, and I said, I thought to myself, hey, that could be used in Tallahassee, um, well, you know, where, where family you is, of course, um, for the events that our fraternity, I mean, I'm Alpha, uh, that our fraternity was using, that we were from organizing and promoting. And uh, as someone on the marketing team, I was like, man, everybody has an email address at college. We're in one uh, central uh, concentrated location. It would be very easy for us to get email addresses and do it and, uh, and you know, collect them and, and send my emails about our events. And to make a long story mm. short, I went back to school um, in that, you know, August, early September, presented it to the, uh, to the chapter, and they vetoed it. They just turned it down, just slammed it. <laughs> you know, horrible, horrible idea. This is, this is 2001. So this is fall 2001. And, yeah, um, it, it'll never work, right? What do you say? I'm sorry. I said, yeah, they were saying it would never work. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, they just didn't see it, and it was just interesting me being in front of that group of, you know, as we as we consider ourselves leaders on campus and pretty intelligent guys, and they just they couldn't see it. And I was to me, it was like, are you serious? Why couldn't you see this? This, this is the future, or what I thought was the future. And um, you know, but me being the rebel that I am that I've come to accept, um, I was like, I believed in it so much. I was like, I'm willing to 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 put everything on the line. I decided to do it myself, like, for an, an upcoming event for the chapter. And I wasn't going to tell anybody. I was going to do it and then come back with the result and say, hey, I can prove that this thing worked. And I did it, and I, and I, and I, and I shared the results, and it, and it worked. And then they were like, no again. And I was like, what? Wow. This, is, this is free. It works. Why don't you want to, you know, why don't you want to, you know, uh, accept it or adopt it? And they just, you know, I couldn't understand. Um, now I can think back on it, I can understand why they why they wouldn't do it. But, you know, they wouldn't accept it. So, you know, I dropped it. I was upset. I was very upset. But I dropped it and went on with my life, so to speak. And um the next fall and the next the next uh, spring in March of 2002, when uh, when God called me to do it, he did. And he just said, "Do it." I was in my car, and mm. the, the words were, were whispered in my left ear, so to speak. And I was just I was pulling out of a parking space after class, and I knew exactly what it, I knew exactly what it was. I had not, and I had not thought about that idea honestly since I had since the previous fall. And I went home and got on the laptop and typed up a plan, and, and there and here we are. 